Shalom, shalom. How's everybody doing? I woke up five o'clock. Right now is six twelve. Beautiful day. So basically, I'm going to talk about your subconscious is in control of your reality. And whatever you're going through, it's not other people's fault that you're going through hard times. You're going through being broke. You're going through a breakup. You're going through a divorce. It's actually you. But you did it unconsciously without realizing. You don't notice that it's your fault until you look into yourself deep. Until you look and you say, you ask yourself what I did wrong or what I did. So, you never heard of reality shifting and multiverse. And the movie Spider-Man, where Tom Holland's at, the latest one, Spider-Multiverse, something like that, Doctor Strange, Spider-Verse, that cartoon spider where Maya Morales is at, it all talks about the possibilities, other realities, other versions, the movie where there's three spider man Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland. That's a multiverse. Three Spider-Mans come from a multiverse. We are living in a multiverse. Every time we go to sleep, we shift. Because with our mindset, we feed our subconscious. So in the daytime, it don't matter. I mean, it does matter what you think, but it doesn't matter as much as before going to sleep. And this is where manifestation comes in. Because you can be praying to God, you can be fasting, you can be worshiping God. But if you don't have faith, and if you, if you have doubt in your head, you can take action, speak it with your mouth, I believe. But if it's deep in your mind that you, don't, you doubt, it's not going to work. So, like, the biggest thing that helps a lot is your mindset before going to sleep. You need to have a mindset of, like, that you already have everything you want. You already have everything you want. You have this, you have that. You have all this. You have to have that mindset. And if you don't, that's why there's affirmations. That's why you script, you write in your notebook. So I got something for you. So like, say, maybe finish this part. Maybe, so say like, you have a mindset that you already got everything. You go to sleep with that mindset. Your physical body's not in control anymore. When your body's asleep, what's in control is your subconscious. And... Your subconscious basically prepares for the next day, prepares for the next week. It's a person that makes the plan based on what you feed your subconscious. If you feed your subconscious negative things, then like before going to sleep, you're thinking negative things. You go to sleep. That's going to be in your subconscious. The person tells the subconscious, hey, put negative things there. That's what you basically say to your subconscious. The more you think about negative things, negative past, what people have done to you, you basically telling your subconscious manifest more of that, put more of that. So like, that's why a lot of people are not grateful. They're not thankful because they always think of the negative things, but you should be thinking of the positive things, even if you don't have it. And this is where I play a role of being grateful being grateful is not all what you have right now. I mean, you can put that there. 
But for it to manifest, for your prayers to be answered, you have to act like you already got it. You see, like Christian people, they believe that it already happened. They act like it already happened. Like they already got it. They already happened. That's how the prayer got answered. Oh, I'm already free. Oh, the prayer already been answered. And it been answered. That's called faith. That's called belief. You tell that to yourself and you believe it. And sometimes we get distracted. So like, subconscious manifests it the next day. Because dreams can warn you too. Dreams can tell you. What are you feeding your subconscious? Be more aware. What are you feeding your subconscious mind? Are you feeding it this and that? Bad things? Or are you feeding it good things? It'll tell you. You're in the right path. You're in the wrong path. I'll tell you to keep working on yourself. But this is where I heard yesterday. Because I was frustrated with my... Right now, we live in a reality where it's prison, where you have you don't have control of your reality because they brainwash you thinking that you have to rely on somebody to control your reality. They tell you to be patient, it'll be there, and then it's never there. That's not how the mindset works. You need to have the mindset that you already got it. I'm already successful. I'm already rich. I already got the car I want, the car that I desire. I already got the spouse I desire. You have to have that mindset. You got to act like it. And you got to ignore this world, ignore this 3D world. The prison world, that's what I call it. The prison world. Where none of your desires are. Where life is falling apart. Your life is falling apart. And what you got to do. So you need to know that this is just a dream, like all the dreams. So how would you react to a dream? If bad things happen in your dream, you're dreaming, bad things happen to you, your life is falling apart, this and that, how would you react to it? You wouldn't react to it, you would say it's no big deal because it's just a dream. It's the same thing here. You gotta stop reacting to these things, man. That's how the devil gets you. Resist the devil. How do you resist the devil? Like the Bible says, resist the devil, he'll flee. How do you resist the devil? Stop reacting to these bad things happening to you. Stop reacting. Stop believing in it. You got to stop believing. When you stop believing, the devil's going to flee. Because the devil wants you to believe. He wants you to believe in these things. And when you keep believing, you're putting your energy into it. And you're giving your energy to the devil. And the devil has control. He has power over you. That's how your life is falling apart. That's how your life is getting destroyed. That's how your dreams are getting crushed. You got to ignore. Resist the devil and flee. And he will flee. The Bible also says, do not lean into your own understanding. It's not talking about the path. I mean, it's not only talking about the journey, the path that you're going through and like you're believing the things around you. It's also talking about do not react to these things. Remember that these things will go away. Remember, it's just a dream. These things are temporary. And yeah, it's not like we're going to have a good time all the time. We got to have hard times too. Even when we are in our goal, our desired reality, we're still going to have hard times. If you're having a good time, get ready to have a hard time because it's going to come. You can't avoid it. You can't ignore it. And if you're having a hard time, get ready to have a good time. You got to be strong and put in the work. I had hard times. I had good times. I suffered. I've been through a lot. You think I've never been through a lot? I've been through a whole lot. Just like all the people been through a lot. They're having a good time, and then they have a hard time. They have a good time. They have a hard time. It's life. It's for you to become stronger. So that's the prison right there. 
where the devil has control, the reality prison that the devil has control. But you need to feed your subconscious. You have the power to create your own reality. Well, to shift because God created all reality. God created all the possibilities. He created all the possibilities and all that you want and you got all kinds of reality. There's infinity, multi-reality. And every night we shift without noticing. Every time we move our hands, our body, we are shifting. Think of it like a movie. The movie tape, it has one picture. Next to it has another picture. Next to it has another picture. You put that in the tape recorder and you roll it and then it plays the movie. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But back then, the cassette, or back then, the movie theater, they had to circle things with a projector. But yeah, the projector, we are, this is, the Bible says you reap what you sow. So whatever you feed in your subconscious mind, whatever is in your mind, and another Bible verse says that dark must come to light, light must come to light. These things must come to light. In the book of James, I think it was. These things must come to light. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're imagining, must come to light. It must come to life. So your subconscious is putting it to light. It's putting it to life. Because you're thinking about it often. You're putting your energy often. But it's not only thinking about it, but acting like you already got it. That's the key. Feeling. The key is feeling. You got to have the feeling. The feeling that you already got it. If you don't know, ask, ask yourself, if I already got it, how would I feel? If I got 100,000, how would I feel? If I got a specific person, how would I feel? If I got this car, my desired car, how would I feel? And then dig deep, meditate in it, meditate in it. If I'm in a close relationship with God, how would it feel meditating that? That's how your prayers get answered. If you want to find your purpose, you got to act like you already got your purpose. So this, I got a homework for you guys. So like. Affirmations, scripting, feed yourself positive things. Try to avoid the news. And if you watch the news, don't watch too much news. At least 30 minutes of news. Because news can be negative and it causes stress. So like you want to feed yourself positive affirmations, positive things. Daytime is just practice. At night is a tournament is the game are you ready for the game are you ready to play ball in the court if so night is very important before going to sleep because you will project positive things